Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Nos vemos en, en dos minutos.
Hello. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes. I'm having problems here. Right. Un momento, por favor. Qué poquitos hay en la clase. ¿Será por el apagón? Sí, que ha habido apagón. Toda la tarde, todo el día, en toda Centroamérica. Ahí por soya vive ahí. No me apopa, no, y ahí en el terrazo tampoco. Porque yo trabajo con energía y no hay planta y no se fue la luz ni una no vez. No se fue la luz. No, ni una vez. Estaban estaba reparando una red de caes ahí por soya. Oh. Y por ello nos falta la luz, mire qué galán. Okay. Bueno, veamos acá la asistencia, chicos y chicas. Today is okay. Wednesday, Alba Dinora, Vides Castillo. Thank you. Eh, Alfredo Alexander Rodas Rodríguez. Present. Carla Marisa Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Cristina Roxana. Domingo Alexander González. Present. José Matías Lemo Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Yamilet Espinosa Ventura. Ken Elizabeth Vanegas Lemos. Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel. Present. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Present. Maydeli Judith Díaz Rivera. Present. Nancy Lizeth Rodríguez Escoto. Present. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Present. Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Santos dijo que no está. Vamos a Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Walter Daniel González Pérez. Present. Present. Thank you, Walter. And William Eduardo Pérez García. Okay. So now, so we're going to start here for today's class. Yesterday, Thank you, Luis. Yesterday we had some practice that we were practicing and mixing the symbol present with the present progressive, okay? Como les comentaba, en la vida real, we're not going to speak only with one tense. En la vida real, no vamos a hablar solamente con un tiempo verbal. Usualmente hacemos una mezcla de ambos, right? o de muchos, right? Estamos describiendo una situación que está en el pasado, estamos hablando acerca del futuro, dependiendo de qué es lo que estamos haciendo, así van a ser los tiempos verbales que se van a utilizar, ¿ok? So yesterday we were working with, right, can you see my PowerPoint? Sí, yes, no, tal vez, sí, yes, ok, yes. very good. So we're going to do present continuous uh, with WH questions. Ese es el tema gramatical que vamos a ver hoy, present continuous with WH questions. Pero antes que lleguemos ahí, right, we need to finish right, the simple present versus the present progressive. Right? Now, let's go ahead and do a conversation here between Ryan and Raul. Ryan and Raul. We have two people talking, right? And I want you to look at the activities they are doing, right? Necesito que vean cómo le están diciendo y qué están diciendo. Okay? What are they saying? Why are they saying that? Right? Now we have Ryan. Pongan atención a la pronunciación, por favor. Vamos a comenzar con Nancy y con eh, Walberto. Así que pongan atención a la pronunciación, por favor. Right? Now we have, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? 
Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. I will read it one more time. Te voy a leer una vez más. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Now, we're gonna do here, right? First, Nancy and Walberto. Walberto, you are Raul. Nancy, you are Ryan. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. Where are you? What do you do? Try not. Good afternoon, Brian. Well, I am planning a video conference. Of the conference, write the news. T in San Salvador. Where is R? T. Do why not? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle room. I see. What time do you usually get to your work? Play. What's the fair that do you? I usually arrive at 6 3 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Where? Arrive I second or 70? It depends. On Friday, my first activity is to be at the letter. Okay, thank you so much. Now repeat with me, Nancy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Right now. Right now. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Very good. I arrive at seven. I arrive at seven. At seven. At seven. Or 7.30. Or 7.30. 30. 30. Traffic. Traffic. No, traffic no. Traffic. 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 Very good. Now, Walberto, repeat with me. I am planning a video conference. I am planning a video conference. Very good. I am planning a video conference. Now, we're going to continue here. Nancy, choose one person. Walberto, choose another person. Ustedes escojan alguien más y luego continuamos con la clase. Porque tenemos muchas cosas que hacer. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Domingo. Mm -hmm. Sandra. Sandra, okay. Now, Domingo, you are going to be Raul.
Sandra, you're going to be Ryan. Just Sandra? Ryan. Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Brian. We I am running a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new thing in San Salvador. What is our thing doing right now? Yes, it is. They are heading ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your work place? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 3 I am. I the first thing I do is to check my MA and you will arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Sandra and Domingo. Now, just repeat with me, I arrive. 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 Very Arrive. good. Arrive. Sandra, repeat with me. Arrive. 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 Very good. So we have this conversation. What can we notice in the conversation? Are we using only one tense or are we using many tenses? ¿Estamos utilizando solo un tiempo o estamos utilizando varios? Mm. Mm, varios tiempos. Varios Dos. tiempos. Uh -huh. Okay, we're, we're actually using varios tiempos. Exactly. We're using many. Okay, which are those tenses that we're using, Domingo? ¿Qué tiempo estamos utilizando? Uh, Deme un tiempo. Uh -huh. Presente simple. Present y, simple. Uh -huh. Present simple. Y el otro que lo vimos ayer, el progresivo. Present progressive. Present progressive. Uh -huh. Present progressive. Okay, give me an example of present simple. Give me an example of the present simple que usted puede notar. Uno. Que usted acaba de ver en, ese, en esa conversación. Eh, o oh, oh, the conference, why the new thing is the San Salvador. The okay, the conference with the new team in San Salvador, okay, very good. The conference with the new team in San Salvador, very well. Now, when is the conference? The conference is with the team in San Salvador. Okay, that is, right, a question, right? Esa es una pregunta, si the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Okay, ¿cuál es otro ejemplo de esto? The simple present, an example of simple present, Karina. Present, uh, mm -hmm. They are writing uh, for the conference in meeting room. Okay, they are ready for the camp. They are getting ready for the conference in the middle room. Is that simple present, Karina? Yes. Are you sure? Is segura que es a simple present? What tense is that, guys? Ayúdenme a Karina, por favor. ¿Qué tiempo es ese? 
They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. ¿Qué tiempo es? It's present progressive. No es simple present. Recuérdense que el present progressive, Karina, vamos a tener el verbo to be y el verbo con ing. Si tiene el verbo con ing, getting, right? No es simple present. Right? It's present progressive. Right? Es lo que vimos ayer. Right? ¿Cuál es un ejemplo de simple present? Eh, Marlon Alberto. Uh, for example, the thing I do is to check my email. The thing I do is to check my email. Very good. The thing I do is to check my email. Very good. That is one example. Now, let's continue. Sigamos. Right? We have simple present versus present progressive. Yesterday, we had this example. Right? Did you finish the... <laughs> Did you finish the paragraph? No, todavía no? Yes. Domingo finished, okay. What about the others? Yes. yes. I'm. You finished, okay. Yes, I did. En pasado, yes, yes I, I did. I did. Yes. Uh -huh. Hello, yes, I did. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a completar los que teníamos ayer, right? Eh, teníamos is. It's, no, we're going to do it with. En rojito, teacher. Yes, en rojito, porque así no conviene. Somos del tónico. Ok. Yes, is. It's, okay, it's, and then it's, it's, I re, I ringing, ringing, ringing. I am ringing, ringing, ringing. I am, I am ringing. ringing. I am ringing. So, um, I am ringing to complain about the noise. Mm, what do you have next? Noise. I am. What's, I am uh, ringing to complain uh, about the noise. Uh -huh. uh, noise was con. Which comes? Con. Okay, which comes? Which comes? Which comes uh, is con. a fact from the flat above me. Mm -hmm. Right. ¿Qué más? They have it. Have it. Have it. Have it. They, no. it says they have. Um, they have, have or have it? Have. Acts. Acts. Having. No. Having. having. Okay. Si have. tenemos having, ¿qué debemos poner antes de este verbo? Are, 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 they are, are having. Recuerden el present progressive. Si no tenemos el, el verbi, no tenemos present progressive. Right? Yeah. They are they having have a party. party. And. They are playing. And they are playing. Porque la fiesta ahorita se está dando, right? Mm -hmm. Están to, están la fiesta. Dancing and everything, right? They are having a party and they are playing music very loudly, right? They are playing music very loudly. Now we continue. The man who likes light lives. Lives, lives, lives. 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 Recuerden que es, es en vivo, es right? En vivo. Lives. Right? The man who lives, lives. there uh -huh. have. Have. Okay. Uh -huh. The man uh -huh. has. Uh -huh. has. The man. The man who lives there has a party every weekend. Uh -huh. And every weekend, simple present, and every weekend, um, I, I ask. Um, I ask. Um, no, I'm ask, I, no. Porque I, estamos, I, I en, en, estamos en present progressive. Mm -hmm. en, en yes. Simple present, simple no present. en present progressive. Mm -hmm. so, si decimos. Every, asked. Okay. Asked. okay. Si decimos every weekend, it's a routine. Es una rutina. Y cuando usamos rutinas, simple present. Right? Entonces no podemos decir I am asking. No. And every weekend, I ask him to turn the music down. Siempre va el pobre señor. 
right? But he, he, isn't. He isn't. Por qué isn't? He is. Doesn't take. Doesn't take. ¿Por qué? Si él va siempre. Right? Don't take. Don't, don't, don't he. Take. Why don't, don't if it's he? Don't. He doesn't. No, ¿por qué vamos a usar don't? Domingo, permítame. ¿Por qué vamos a usar don't, doesn't Domingo? Take. Ah, no, porque es él. Ajá. ¿Y ah. qué pasa cuando usamos él, Domingo? Usamos el does. Das, no. exacto. Uh -huh. Si es he, usamos das. ¿Y por qué estamos usando das en aquí? Y no isen, Matías. Ah, porque no es el verbo to be, sino que es simple present. Simple present. Yes. Exactly. Ahí me equivoqué yo. Ok. It doesn't take any notice. And they, it's still a routine. This happens every weekend. And mm -hmm. they... No, don't leave. They don't. Yeah. Si estamos hablando del simple present. They don't leave. Right? They don't leave. Until two or three in the morning, right? Then it says very often. If it says very often. Muy ofendido. Muy ofendido. Muy a menudo. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't complain. Right? I don't complain. Very often. Very often. Right? But tonight, tonight, Esta noche. Mm -hmm. right? Tonight, at the moment of speaking, right? Tonight, the noise is awful. The noise, ruido. The noise is awful. Right? Uh -huh. And. Tonight, in this moment. Uh, it is keeping. 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 It is keeping. Okay. It is keeping. Very good. It is keeping me awake. Ah, que me tiene despierto. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Hablando con el policía, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. You are sending. Are sending. sending. You're sending. sending. A police. A police car around. Police police. Where do I? Where do I live? I live. Where do I live? Where do I live? Oh, 36 in Gardens, London, W8. Very good. One, two, three. Okay, now take a look at the examples, take a look at the answers, miren las respuestas por favor, y pregunten si tienen preguntas, right? And copy the answers, para que tengan un ejemplo de una situación real, right? This is a real situation. What I do? Do you have questions? No. No? ¿Sí entienden por qué cada una de las respuestas es así? Ahora sí entendió. Ahora sí entendió. Ok. Sí, a mí se me olvida olvidado poner 
ver voto de antes de cuando las de las flores sí güey pero... uh -huh. eso es lo único que no había tomado esto en cuenta las time expressions las time expressions qué es coming qué es coming come come venir 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 oh my uncle is coming to my house Mi tía está llegando a la casa. Very good. Any other question? No? Okay. Let's continue. Si no tienen preguntas, seguimos. Entonces, con las prácticas, right? I am going to erase this. Espero que tengan copia porque lo voy a borrar. Right? We continue here with the next practice. We have here. Right, well, yesterday they tell us an explanation about the simple present, right, with a, the future with future meaning, right? And now we have simple present versus present continuous. Now, what is the mainly reason here? We use simple present for general information, routines and activities. Then we have these four examples. Uh, Alfredo, can you read these four examples? I check, my, uh, mm -hmm. I check my emails every morning. He writes reports about meeting. She audits inventories. Inventories or inventories? Inventories. Inventories. They arrange meeting. They arrange meetings. Very good. Now we have there the different uses. Right for the simple present. Esos solo son ejemplos de lo que nosotros ya estuvimos practicando ayer, right? Then it says we use present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Walter, can you read these four examples? Walter? I am planning a video conference. They are getting the document ready. Mm -hmm. She edit the information. The secretary is making a, a phone call. He's making a phone call, okay. She's editing the information, repeat. Editing. She's editing the information. Okay, editing the, the information, very well. So these are just examples, right, of the simple present and present progressive. Pero esos ejemplos solo están como oraciones solitas ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces sigamos acá. We have this. It says here that we're going to use only, only the present progressive for this exercise. This exercise is on your book. If I'm not mistaken, this should be on... This is in the página 32, página 32. Go to page 32. Page 32, página 32. And we're going to complete this exercise only with present progressive. Solamente con el presente progresivo, okay? Let's do it. Remember the, the, the structure. Recuérdense la estructura del present progressive. Subject, verb B, verb with ing, complement. Finish. Okay, very good. 
finished. Excellent. What about the others? Did you finish it? You're feeling the middle of the week. Yes, <laughs> Everyone looks tired today. Let us see. Alba, are you done? Marily, Sylvia? Finish. Okay. Let's see. We're going to listen to the first one. It is going to be Marilyn. Then yes, teacher. Después vemos. Okay, okay. Look at the example. Sample first says Thomas is printing the contract. Thomas is, oh, aquí le faltó out. Thomas is printing out the contract. All right, number two, Marilyn. Cheryl. Sherry is number of the teach. Yep. Así se llama la cantante, Cheryl. Marilyn. Perdón, perdón, tenía el micrófono. Me. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Okay, very good. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Excellent, very good. Matias, the number two. Number three. Yeah, next one. Siga, usted sabe cuál va. He is taking care of everything. He's taking care of everything. Everything. Repeat. Everything. Everything. Very good. Thank you so much. Number next. Let's see number next. Tell me, Carla. I'm paying attention to the instructions. I am paying attention to the structures. Very good. I am paying attention to the structures. Number five. Number five, let's do it here. Miss Dinora. She's, she's prepares the briefing. ING, present progressive. Entonces, she's preparing. Preparing. Uh -huh. The briefing. The briefing. She's preparing uh -huh. the briefing. Very good. She's preparing the briefing. And the last one, Victor. They are sending the product to the warehouse. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Very good. I want you to look at this because there are a few words that might be new to you. Uh, pueden haber algunas palabras que sean un poco nuevas porque no las hemos visto antes. Así que es momento de preguntar el significado de las palabras. It's time to ask the meaning of the words. Briefing, briefing, briefing. Briefing, briefing. Cuando, cuando hay reuniones, right? Me, y hay me, un do... me. What do you say? 
cuando hay reuniones y hay, por ejemplo, presentaciones que son bien largas, right? They give you, when there are conferences, they give you like a, a small explanation of the whole presentation, right? Because sometimes the conferences, they take one or two hours, right? So they make a briefing. A briefing is like a summary, es como un resumen, right? Que lo mandan en las invitaciones, right? Está el nombre del ponente, Matías Lemos, right? El, el tema que usted va a exponer en la conferencia y el briefing. Un pedacito de lo que usted va a exponer. De lo que usted va a hablar, ok. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that is a briefing. briefing. Very good. Briefing. Mm -hmm. Briefing. 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 What's another question? Otra pregunta, por favor. Briefing, briefing. Mm -hmm. um, so, warehouse. Warehouse. Warehouse, it's the place where we, in the companies, they have, for example, if it's uh, the supermarket, right? When you go to the supermarket, you see everything there, right? but they have a warehouse usually in the back where they have all the products, right? So if something is finishing, they're finishing all the products very quick, right? They go to the warehouse and they bring more products, right? To sell. Or for example, usually in the warehouses, in the offices, they have like computers, desk, like in case they need to be repaired, right? Then Como ofertas. No, really, no, really. Es donde se guardan las cosas. Warehouse. Bodega. Es una bodega. Exactly. That's a warehouse. Mm. In most of the companies, they have warehouses. Casi en todos los, en todos los lugares tienen empresa. warehouses. Sí, casi todos. Tres hay en empresas chiquititas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué otro, qué otro? Only those, okay. What about the others? Todo lo demás, entendemos todo. Entendemos el uso del present progressive. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes okay. teacher. Okay, well, very well. Let's continue. Right. We continue here with this reading. Right. We're going to do a reading too. Vamos a hacer un reading también, right? But first, right, estamos en la página 32, right? We're going to go to page 32. Vamos a la página 32, por favor. Estoy en la 32, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. In page 32, right, we have an exercise, right, that we're going to do. Exercise B. Exercise B. It says... Write in the boxes the activities you usually do on Monday morning, right? What are the activities that I do usually on Monday morning, right? First, I check my emails at 8 a.m. Después del café, porque si no, no. No maquinamos, right? I check my agenda at 8.30 a.m. That's what I do. I am writing here what I do, right? my examples. Look at my examples. Then I organize the most important activities for the week, right? And the last one, I sent a message to my supervisor at 9 a.m. This is what I do, right? What I usually do on a Monday morning. What about you? What do you usually do in a Monday, on a Monday morning? ¿Necesita que le envíe el libro, el libro de nuevo, Karina? 
Sí, teacher, por favor, que no lo, no lo encuentro. Ahí no, no debe ser progressive ni... No, porque si says usually do. So if it says okay. usually do, we're gonna go with simple mm. present. Mm -hmm. Aquí mm. estamos viendo actividades de uno y del otro para ir sabiendo si ya sabe, identificamos bien cuál es cuál. Right? Y se acaba de identificar que no es present progressive. Muy bien. Ok. Teacher, uh -huh. how do you say factura? Nancy. Ok. It says receipts or bills. We say receipts or bills. Let me put it in the chat. Facturas. Receipts. Okay, remember your subject verb complement. Ya está en el chat de todos el libro, Karina. Gracias. Solo cuatro, ¿verdad, Tich? Sí. No. Only four, Tich. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Cuál es yours? ¿Qué tiene usted? Um. I have break breakfast. I have breakfast at 6 a.m. Okay. I I drive to my work at 7 a.m. Uh, I cut paper in the morning. Uh, solo si le puse. Okay. La última, repítala por favor. Y el verbo va a mejorar la pronunciación. I cut paper in the morning. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Alfredo, what do you have? Oh, okay. I print. Ahí que tenía la duda. Es I printing o es I print? Porque I am printing. Usted dio la respuesta al inicio. Sí, sí, sí. I print. Okay. I print paper in the afternoon. Okay, perfect. Okay. I print paper in the afternoon. Okay. Alfredo. Okay. Maideli, what do you have? At 6 a.m., I take the bus to my work. Mm -hmm. At 7 a.m., I clean the office. At 8 a.m., I attend to patients. At 10 a.m., I check the mail. Okay, I attend patients. I attend. I attend patients. 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 Exactly. Patients. Very good. What do you have, William? William? Eduardo Perez? William Eduardo. No? Okay, what do you have, Marlon Cardona? Okay, teacher. Um, 
At 7 a.m., I check the sewing line goals. Mm -hmm. um, at 9 a.m., I check the information with the trainers. At 10 a.m., I send emails to my boss. Okay. And at 10 30, mm -hmm. I calculate the cap pays to the manager's meeting. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. One more. What do you have, Nancy? Luis, escriba los suyos en el chat para verlos. I check my email, my IP. I check uh, IP, I check IP. I, I come to the game and uh, ten. Para decir a las diez y media, teacher. Ten thirty. Ten thirty. IP. AM. 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 De la mañana es AM. O diga in the morning. Okay. Okay. Now, también va a repetir, Nancy, la palabra que le puso en el chat es receipt. 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 Uh -huh. Exactly. Receipt. Okay, very good. And Alexander, what do you have? Antes que se duerma. Alfredo Alexander Rodríguez. Número de duda. Do, domingo se llama igual, así que. Domingo. Uh, I check my email at AIM. Uh, I have a meeting with my co workers at 9 a.m. I plan the tasks for the week at 9.45 a.m. and I will report for my boat at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Okay, very Pardon, good. A.m. A.m. Okay, I, I wrote them at 10.30 p.m. Personal semester. Okay, good, good. Now, do we understand the activities? ¿Alguien tiene preguntas acerca de sus actividades? No? Okay, let's continue working. Let's continue. Como es simple present, ¿verdad? Lo tenemos fácil. Yo I... tengo una oración, teacher. No sé si está bien escrito o bien dicho. Okay, tell it. I got my tour ready in the morning. I go to my tour? Uh -huh, ready. Ready. ¿Qué right. quiere decir? Yo... Eh, prepara mi herramienta en la mañana. I prepare my tools in the morning. Okay, dígalo. I prepare. What you prepare? Prepare. Prepare. My tools in my the morning. Tools. In the morning. In the morning. Está en el chat. I prepare okay. my tools in the morning. I check my mail at 8.10. 8 day reviews of the week's activity. I mark in 24 at 8 a.m. Okay. La última está mal escrita, William. No se entiende qué, qué actividad es. Oh, Luis Enrique, perdón. I start operations. I start operating industrial machines at seven o'clock. Okay. Now, let's continue. Continuamos acá con la siguiente actividad. This is a reading activity that we're gonna do, right? Here, let me show you. Esta página la podemos hacer después Pues the libro, right, esta, página 33. Why? Because it's a conversation, right? What we use in present progressives is very repetitive, right? You can complete this exercise, fill in the blanks with the events you have at your workplace, 
signing payrolls, sending emails, analyzing advances, siempre mencionando actividades que hacen en su eh, lugar de trabajo, right? But right now we're going to focus on this reading. Ese es el que necesito que utilicen, right? Okay, now with this, right, it says read this article about activities to keep employees happy. This class of the sentences below are true or false and correct the false one. First, we're going to read organize yoga classes, celebrate birthdays, paintball, guess who? And then based on the reading, we select if these sentences are correct or not correct, okay? Vamos a leer. En este caso, como la lectura es un poco grande, Right, we are on page 34, page 34. We're going to read, right, vamos a leer, but we're going to answer and analyze the information in pairs, okay? Vamos a trabajar en parejas para ver las respuestas después que hemos leído, right? Now, let's go ahead and do that. ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Leemos. Right, las cuatro partes. This is to keep employees happy. ¿Qué cosas hacen su compañía para poner a los, para tener a los empleados contentos? I used to work in a company that they gave us pizza parties every Monday. Right? They gave us pizza for free. Right, al final no termina todo gordo, pero bueno, pizza del Primesman. Right, so what are activities that they do to make you happy? Actividades que hacen para tenerlos contentos, right? And we're going to read and then answer the true and false activity. Let's start in this moment, right? We're going to do our activities here, right? With groups of two. Vamos a ver. No hacen nada. Igual. <laughs> <laughs> Al revés. <laughs> Yo los tengo que tener feliz. Lo mandan a descansar a unos sin goce de sueldo. Es para que nos alegremos. ¿no? Bueno. Ok. Libre absent. Yeah. Ok. There you are. Right. The breakout room are, are open. Luis va a trabajar en el chat. Luis, Víctor, Sandra, William, por favor, váyanse a, su, a sus grupos. Víctor, David, por favor, váyanse a su grupo. Luis, váyanse a su grupo. Víctor, David, Calzadilla. Ajá. Eh, como jefe, 
como jefe dice, jefe, ¿qué, ¿qué tipo de jefe quisiera hacer algo así? Este, la segunda ah. es falsa. Porque dice que ¿Por no, dice que no calma la mente, pero sí, calma la mente. Ajá, cierto. Um, basic rating especial en ocasiones importantes. No importante. No lo lean, no lo traduzcan. No, no yo lo estoy leyendo. Vayan leyéndolo, no lo traduzcan. Porque sí. si no se van a tardar una vida. ¿Qué significa rating, teacher? En la 3. Rating. Base rating. ¿A dónde? ¿En la número 3? ¿En la oración número 3 o en la table? En la pregunta. ¿Ya leyeron? ¿Ya leyeron las cuatro párrafos? No. Entonces no, lean no, los cuatro no. párrafos. Lean los cuatro párrafos. Uh -huh. Reading es lectura. Based on the reading. Basado en la lectura. Reading. Lectura. Sí. Empresariales para levantar la moral. Simplemente... Re Simplemente reconociendo especial las ocasiones puede tener un gran impacto. Muestra a tu equipo que te preocupas por ellos como las personas son. Ay, oh, Dios mío. Porque están traduciendo. ¿No van a entender inglés así? No, porque lo estamos traduciendo, pero también lo estamos leyendo. O sea, lo estamos intercalando. No, no lo traduzcan. Porque si no, su mente se les va a, a acostumbrar a solo traducir. Vaya. Y ahí se les va a hacer más difícil. Y no quiero ni eso. Vale. Entonces, uh -huh. yoga, relax, tensión, boot y ton, calm, timid. ¿A dónde, ¿A dónde está? En la, en la, en dos, en la tú, siempre de yoga. Ponen las a palabras ver. más difíciles. Vale, si quiere, volvamos a leer el primero. Ok. Eh, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, Don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What was would you want those outcomes? Eh, lo que entendí es que, digamos, si alguien estaba en una oficina, eh, si nosotros trabajamos en una oficina y nuestros empleados están como sentados frente a la computadora todo el día, eh, no hay que sobreestimar el impacto que la yoga puede tener en su actitud, eh, que la yoga ayuda a aliviar el estrés, a calmar la mente, a, a liberar tensión, la tensión. Eh, el, ayuda al y, cerebro, ajá, al funcionamiento del cerebro. No le entendí lo que me dijo. Este, permítame, permítame. A ver. Lo logró, lo logró añadir, compañero. Ah, ahorita estoy tratando de abrir el WhatsApp para poder ¿Para qué? subir. ¿El que va a subir? La página, porque ella no tiene, no puede acceder al libro. Pero yo ya envié el libro al WhatsApp. Ajá, ahorita lo estoy viendo, pero veo como unos puntitos, como que no me ha cargado bien. Ajá, entonces... El libro lo envié al WhatsApp a las nueve, ajá. Hoy sí, compañera, ya. Ah, ok, vale. Eh, teacher, solo tengo, hay dos palabras que no las entiendo, me podría ayudar, por ¿Sí? favor. Eh, ya le digo que estas no las entendí um, es en el segundo párrafo donde dice celebrate birthday 
Dice vos Morales, ¿qué es eso? Ya, Bupi, en el segundo párrafo. Sí. To push morally, para levantarle la moral. To push uh, morally. Push morally, no, para levantarle la moral, la autoestima. Ah, ok. Y la otra es simply acknowledging. Simply acknowledge. Simply acknowledging special occasions. Cuando dicen, ah, con tal de que, de que les digas feliz cumpleaños, ya se van a sentir bien. Lo que hacen en mi, en mi trabajo, por ejemplo. Ahí en mi trabajo dice, oh, happy birthday. Happy, pone en el chat de WhatsApp, happy birthday, everyone. Y ahí murió todo. Ah, <ríe> es como, para, para tener claro, es como dar una uh, felicitación vana. O sea, sí, con solamente decir, ah, qué bien que lo están haciendo. Sin importancia. Eso sí. quiere decir. Ajá. Eso son prácticamente. Ah, qué bien. Como que yo les pusiera en el, en el, en el website a ustedes. Ah, oh, feliz cumpleaños a Silvia, que le esté pasando muy bien. Ahí. Okay. Entonces, y ya, y ya. Ahí es como que yo le estoy dando acknowledge a, a cómo se llama a usted. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bye. Gracias, esas dos palabras no las entendía. No hay problema, no hay problema. Muchos thank you. You're welcome. Eh, voy a leer Bye. entonces la número tres, Nancy. Bye. Okay. Dice, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organiz organi organizing a day of pinball. Simple getting, getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morally. Watch, uh, watch out thought as the boss, you're going to be prime target. Ahora el número, si quiere lee usted el número cuatro. As a very... To write a children a children talk to tell you and talk to the about a wrong idea that embargo to pass their bed. Did you finish? Yes, you should. Yes? Yes. Perfect. ¿Ya leyeron? ¿Ya comprendieron? No tradujeron sí. todo el texto, ¿verdad? No, lo leímos. Lo no leyeron. Ajá. Ok, perfect. Terminamos un párrafo y contestamos la que tenía que ver con eso. Y... Ok, excelente, excelente. Entonces nos vamos ahorita con los demás, ¿ok?
Okay. So we have here the first, well, the reading, right? We have organized yoga, celebrate birthday, paintball, and guess who? Now I want you to read the first paragraph. Vamos a leer los párrafos primero y luego contestamos. The first paragraph is for Alfredo. Number two is going to be for Marlon. Number three is for Carla. And number three is for Sylvia. Okay, so let's do it. Please pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? One, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't understand the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate the stress, calm the mind, the mind. Mm -hmm. release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What does cold one those outcomes? What boss wouldn't want wouldn't want wouldn't want those outcomes? Outcomes, okay, very outcomes. good. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Very good. De este párrafo, no me lo traduzca. ¿Qué entendió de este párrafo? Eh, Marilyn Elizabeth, ¿qué entendió? Dígame dos ideas principales de ese párrafo. Marilyn Elizabeth. Me saca por ratos el inter, teacher, ¿qué me dijo? Ouch. Bueno, eh, solamente que me diga qué entendió del primer párrafo. Dos ideas principales de lo que entendí. Mm. Organize. Dos ideas principales. Yes. Acá Organize. yoga can, eh, eh, prácticamente buscamos las preguntas. ¿va? Yoga can help no, alivio. No, no estamos buscando las preguntas. Es, yo necesito que me diga qué entendió del primer párrafo. Solamente eso. ¿Qué entendió usted? Es eso que la, que la yoga um, alivia estrés. Okay. Um, calma, calm, timid y relaxed tension. Ok, y calms the mind and relax, release the tension. Ok, y release the tension. Very good. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you very much. Now let's continue here with celebrate birthdays. Uh, I think it was Marlon, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost moral. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a car, have a cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your, in your team has a birthday. Has a birthday, very good, very good. What do you understand from that paragraph? Lo mismo que hizo Marilyn. Walter Daniel, what do you understand from that paragraph? Celebrate birthdays. The celebrate birthdays is is um, It have a big impact uh, in the employees. Okay. 
Celebrating birthdays can have a big impact on the employees. Okay, very good. That is a very good main idea. Okay, very good. Una idea muy buena, principal. Let's see. Table. Um, give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out so as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Okay, very good. Now, what is this about, Matias? De qué trata este, número tres, paintball. ¿Qué entendió usted? You can tell me in English or in Spanish, it's okay. Matías, ¿lo sacó el inter? Es que como cuando salimos queda, se me había olvidado. Ok. Ah, ok. No, <risa> bueno. Yo pensé que lo sacó el inter. Qué, qué oso. ¿eh? Ok. <risa> ok. Bueno, yo vine inspirado, hasta ya había dicho casi todo. Bueno. <risa> bueno. Eh... Dice de que los empleados tienen la oportunidad de, de tener de un de, de que un día eh, de que se organicen un día para jugar pinball para, para, para jugar pinball este, porque ayuda a la moral y que el jefe el jefe tiene que ir primero. Es, eh, tipo como que tiene que ser el líder pues, de tomar la decisión para eso. Ok, para muy bien. Sí, exacto. Muy bien. Muy bien. La primera, que organizan right, yoga clases para que se relaje, alleviate the stress, calm the mind, improve the brain. Celebrate birthdays, right? Cuando le ponen, pero ahí dice, simply acknowledging a special occasion. Cuando ustedes, por ejemplo, si están en un, un WhatsApp group de su emple, eh, empresa, envían, eh, happy birthday, Cana Marixa. Hope you have a great day with your family, blah, blah, Just by feeling that, you say, oh, that's good. They remember, right? They remember. So simply acknowledging that. Then payable is just an example. What it's telling you is that you can have many activities. Pueden hacer, lo, los jefes te podrían hacer un montón de actividades Siempre que sean afuera de la oficina, right? Para que los empleados ah, estén más tranquilos, right? Y se sientan más cómodos y trabajen en equipo. The last one, guess who? That's for Sylvia. Yes, who? Yes, who? Ask yes, who? everyone to write the childhood photo of their selves and put them all up on the board and then get a, get every everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one it's a bit of easy light harder fun that will def definitely 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 help lift spirits while offering play plenty of humor along the way. Very good, very good. So in this case, right, where they are asking, they are putting another example, otro ejemplo, otra actividad, right? That is called guess who, right? Where you can bring a picture of you as a child. Right. Una, una imagen de ustedes, de niños, las ponen, le dicen, ah, oh, ¿quién es él? ¿Quién es aquel? Okay. Y ahí se están adivinando, right? Now, we have these activities, right? We have five sentences. I would like you to help me answer these sentences. Number one, domingo. 
Read the sentence and tell me if it's true or false. Lea la oración y luego me dice si es true or false. Si es false, me dice la respuesta correcta. ¿Ok? Ok. Yoga as an important effect on employees. True. True. Ok, very good. This is correct. Right? This is true. Very good. Yoga has an important. Has. Repeat. Hacks. Yoga hacks. Hacks. No, no, no hacks. Has. Con S. Has. Hacks. No, con X no. Has. Solamente has. Uh, es con hacks. Has. No, no diga la X al final. Está Ojalá diciendo la X. X. No le diga así la pronunciación, Matías. Lo voy a sacar del curso. No le diga así la pronunciación porque la va a decir bien latinoamericana. Y no quiero eso. Ahí. No quiero eso. Has. 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 Exacto. Has. Quítese la mano aquí. Así. Has. 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 Exacto. Has. Very good. Has. Ok. Ahora le hago la oración de nuevo. Yoga. Yoga has an important effect on employees. On employees. Very good. Thank you so much. Walberto, number two. Uh, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Okay. False. False. What is the answer? ¿Por qué me dice uh, que es false? Porque también calma la mente. Okay, how would you say that? It? It calms the mind. It calms the mind. Okay, yoga releases tension. Releases. Yoga so releases tension. tension. But it calms the mind. Aquí sería. But, uh -huh. It, it calms the mind. Calms the mind. Calms. Le quitamos el but. Y le quitamos el doesn't. Very good. Thank you, Alberto. Todos pongan atención a la pronunciación de las palabras difíciles. Difíciles ahorita, right? Pero ya van a ver que no. Ok, let's do the next one. Eh, Nancy. Based on the reading, special occasions are not important. Leala. There's on the mirroring. As person all know in the person. Ok, voy a leerlo de nuevo y repita conmigo. Ok, y luego me dice la respuesta. Based on the reading. Based on the reading. Special occasions. Special occasions. Are not important. Are not important. Ok. Is that true or false? Nancy, true or yeah. false? True, teacher. It is true, okay? What do you think, guys? The special occasions are not important. I think so. False. You think so? They are important. They are important. Based on the reading, special occasions are important. So this is false, right? Esta malo, right? Porque es false, right? Déjenme acá, le voy a checar las palabras que ya no vamos a usar para que, para que, right? Are important. Very good. Let's do the next one, Alba Dinora. Workers can play paintball inside the office. Workers can play paintball inside in the office. 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 Inside the office. In, inside in the office. Inside the office. Inside the office. Okay. Is that true or false? False. False. Okay. Where can they play paintball? 
¿Dónde pueden jugar paintball? Where can they play paintball? According to the reading. Uh -huh. uh, out, out, outside the office. Outside, outside office. Okay. Uh, exactly. Out. Entonces, ahora cambiamos acá. Le ponemos outside. Right? Outside. 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 Inside, adentro. Outside, afuera. Inside. Es lo mismo. Es lo mismo del juego. Sí, in and out. Exacto. Es lo mismo. Juego, in. Outside. That's out. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh. Es lo mismo, exacto. Very good, Domingo. And Walter. Childhood quarters can't offend employees. Childhood quarters can offend employees. Or false. What do you think? How do, how do you say in Spanish offend? Ofender. Molestar. Um, Trigger. Uh -huh. It's false. It's false. False. It's false. Based on the reading? Okay. ¿De los demás estamos de acuerdo? No. <laughs> No? Yes. No. no. Yes? yes? No? There is. Yes. Based, on the reading? Reading, based on the reading, it's false. Based on the reading, it's false. Okay. Si le pongo una foto y me río, no le va a In the real life, it's <laughs> other thing. In real life, we don't know, right? In real life, no sabemos cómo van a actuar sus compañeros de trabajo. But, con base en el artículo que acaban de leer, Right. Based on the reading, is it true or false? Is that in the, in, it is? It is false. Oh. Right? Porque ahí dice, ah, todos se van a reír, supuestamente. Y ven la foto y el bichito con mocos y todo. Right? Well, depend. But depender en la vida real. Right? Very good. Now we have this. Right? This reading had a lot of words. Este reading tenía varias palabras. Eh, nuevas, por favor hagan algo eh, para todas las palabras nuevas circulen las palabras nuevas márquenlas con un marcador eh, valga la redundancia cuando ya las tengan búsquenlas en su diccionario ya sea digital en el, en el chat de, de, de Whatsapp le voy a poner unos diccionarios en inglés que pueden utilizar ¿ok? por si no tienen un diccionario de papel y para que no gasten Ahí se lo voy a poner ahí para que lo vayan utilizando. Right. Y eh, vayan, seleccionen las palabras, busquen su significado para que vayan incrementando su vocabulario. Pero no solo busquen, utilicen la palabra en una oración. Utilice la palabra en clase. Si usted lo utiliza en clase y lo utiliza mal, está bien porque entre todos nos vamos a ayudar para corregir el uso de esa palabra. ¿Ok? Pero utilicenla, no solamente la de... Ah, Dice yoga, no sé qué yoga, whatever. Ya terminamos el ejercicio, ya no la vi. Ah, dice tension, a saber qué es tension. Painful, ni sé qué es painful, no me importa. Right? Ya vimos el ejercicio, ya me lo vi. Ya lo vi. Okay? Entonces, hay que ver eso. También otra forma de ir adquiriendo vocabulario, porque vi que varios de ustedes, right? varios, varios de ustedes, Estaban traduciendo palabras, no solamente un grupo, palabra por palabra cada uno de, de cada cosa de la lectura. Si hacemos esa traducción palabra por palabra, que es con word for word, right, nos va a costar un poquito más entender el significado, porque el inglés sí se parece bastante al español, no vamos a mentir, se parece bastante, pero hay ciertas frases, ciertos verbos que si usted lo junta con una palabra o lo junta con otra proposición, Uh, el significado es totalmente distinto, right? Entonces, si lo traducimos palabra por palabra, así, ¿qué dice? No tiene sentido, así es saber qué está diciendo, right? Entonces, nos va a ser un poquito más difícil. Además, que nuestro cerebro se va a ir acostumbrando a traducir. Entonces, cuando ya vayamos al, al nivel 6, van a estar con unos alumnos que yo tuve que estaban en nivel 6 y todo traducían, y era nivel 6. 
sea, ellos iban bien en gramática porque sabían lo que escribían, pero para hablar les costaba bastante porque todo traducían. ¿okay? Entonces, vamos a ir dejando atrás. Si hay palabras difíciles, como alleviate. ¿Qué es alleviate? Ah, alivia. Right? Casi se parece a español. Alivia, alivia. Teacher, yeah. teacher. ¿Sí? Hay una oración, una, 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 un texto que no, no supimos cómo se, cómo se pronunciaba. ¿Cuál es eh, de todo? En la, en la, en la número dos, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate birthday. En, en, en ¿Sí? sentences, la dos. Eh, Después de simple. Simple. simple oh. acknowledging. 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 Acknowledging es como que, ah, por ejemplo, digamos, Marlon tiene una, un fondo nuevo de, de atrás de pantalla y dice, oh, mire, tiene un fondo de pantalla nuevo. I am acknowledging. Right. Estoy dando, estoy reconociendo que él tiene algo nuevo ahí en su pantalla. Right. O digamos, Marilyn eh, mañana viene con 10 palabras nuevas aprendidas y está participando y está, ah, you're participating a lot today. Estoy acknowledging that she's participating. Estoy reconociendo que ella está participando. Okay. En este contexto, acknowledging significa reconocer. Como algo nuevo, reconociendo algo nuevo. Reconociendo a, y reconociendo algo, sí, reconociendo algo. En este caso, special occasions. Sí, mire, como, ¿Eh? estuviera, como que estuviera compuesta de varias palabras. Acknowledging. Ajá, eh, sí, mira, sí. Sí, por, está por, compuesta. Por, 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 por lo escrito, digo yo. Sí, está compuesta de varias, no de varias palabras, pero sí de varias eh, formas de, de gramática, varias raíces. De las palabras. Pero sí. Porque knowledge es una, act es otra y el ing es otra. Tiene toda la razón. Ley. Uh -huh. Está compuesta okay. por tres cosas. Knowledge. Ok. Ok. People, 9.30 p.m. Present continuous WH questions. Mi primera Uy, pregunta. No, lista, teacher. no, estamos en el WH questions. WH questions. Tengo aquí esas WH questions. ¿Me recordamos de ellas? O so. O so. Ok. Yes. We're going to use them for present continuous. Okay. Present ah. continuous with WH Perfect. questions. Hasta este momento hemos utilizado yes, no. Are you, are you reading the book? Yes, I am. Are you, in the, are you taking the English class, Marilyn? Okay. Yes, I am taking the English class. No, I am not taking the English class. Very easy. But right now we're going to see the WH questions with present yeah. progressive. Okay? Recordémonos el uso. El uso de cada una de ellas. Right? Let's see Carlos Gualberto. Veo que está levantando la mano. Muchas gracias, Carlos Gualberto, por participar. Right? Tell me, Carlos Gualberto, when are you going to use who? ¿Qué quiere preguntar si estoy utilizando who? Eh, ¿Quién? You're asking for people. Right? Está preguntando por personas. You're asking for people. You're asking for a person. Right? For a person. Person or people. Right? Tratemos de decirlo en inglés. No lo traduzcamos. Recuerda, okay. no lo traduzcamos. Tratemos la mayor, mayoría de lo posible de decirlo en inglés. Person or people. Person. Now, what are we doing when we ask Carla Marisa which? When do I use which? ¿Qué, ¿Por qué estoy usando which acá? Carla Marisa. If I tell you which cell phone do you like, iPhone or Samsung? ¿Qué se dice la Carla? Ana Marisa. Tell me, teacher. 
Está sí. durmiendo. No puede ser. Y hablando como loca, mira. <risa> Carla. Dígame. When do we use which? ¿Qué, le, qué, estoy, which. ¿Qué estoy preguntando cuando estoy usando which? Por ejemplo, which computer do you prefer? Mac or Windows? Yeah, for things. Things, very good. We're asking for things. But in this case, if we ask for things, we're giving options. Options. Specific things, very good. We're giving options. We want to be specific, very good. Right, specific. Right. What about who's? Who's, Alfredo? What do we want to ask with who's? I don't remember, teacher. Who is? Who's? Mm. Lugar, eh, no. Lugar. Where is look? Where is place? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where is place? Very good. Who's, Where who's is this? place? Who's, who's that? Uh, uh, but that is who is that? That is Marilyn. Right? Mm. Who is that? But this is who's. No, I don't remember this. Yeah, I see both. Okay, don't worry. Technology in possessions. Oh, possession. Sylvia, very good. Repeat. Technology in possessions. Possession. We want something. Uh, possession. Possessions. Possession of a person, right? Possession Who's of a person. Who's, Who's whose remote control is this? Oh, mm -hmm. this is Who's Henry's. Remote control, right? Possession. Estamos preguntando a quién le pertenece algo, right? Very well. Let's see, Walter. Why? What do we want to ask? Why is question? Yes, yes, it's a question. Todos son preguntas. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas? ¿Qué quiero preguntar yo? ¿Qué quiero saber cuando pregunto? Y dice, why? No todas las palabras nos sirven para lo mismo. Right? Pero ¿para qué utilizo why? Concéntrese, concéntrese. Ya le veo el aquí de <risa> O se está durmiendo. Okay. Why do I use why, Marlon? Question. It's a question. Mm. Estoy de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Action. Is like Action. You want an explanation? No, reason. Oh, you want an explanation. Exactly. Uh, Reasons. Sure. Razones. Okay. Razones. Que no den razones. O oh, explicaciones. Explanations. Why do you like English? Why do you like Uh, why do you like working in the Gran Vía, Carmen? Oh, because, blah, blah. right? Okay, very good. Let's see, Alba Dinora. Tell me the use of how. How? De cómo o cuánto. Cómo o cuánto. Okay. ¿Cómo lo dice en inglés? How many, how much? Very good, thank you so much. Alba, and that is correct. How many, how much? Those are examples for manner, right? Manner, right? How many, how much? Now tell me what, what, Domingo? What? What? Action. Actions, okay. Situations, action. Action, uh, situation. Action, situations. Right. Recuerden que what es la forma general de which. Right. So, things. Things. Right? What. Okay. Very good. Action, situations, things. And when, Matías.
Well, teacher. When. 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 Not remember, teach. I help you. Okay. Is place uh, in a no. place period, where is period, place? Uh -huh, in a time in period of time. Time or period of time. Very good. Time or period of time. Period of time. Very well. So please take a screenshot of this. Tome un, un, una captura para que se recuerden porque es del nivel uno. Right? Level one, right? Modulo uno. Tome una captura, por favor. Nancy Rodríguez, ese nombre le va a afectar después. Teacher, ah, no, si se me olvidó meter, ya lo cambié. Teacher, where sort of place? Place, locations. Place, lugares, locations, lugares. Locations es un sinónimo de place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ya tomamos la captura, ya tenemos, ya recordamos. Sí? Okay. Very good. Let me show you here some examples. Voy a borrar esto, así que si no copiaron, se quedaron sin nada. Right. We go here with the structure on page 34, in la página 34, right? Oh, yes, it is okay. On page 34, right? They are giving us the form of these structures. What, when, where, why, which, who, and how. So this is como crear, okay? If they just have it, it's been simple, right? Very, very simple. We're going to put the WH word, right? Plus the verb B, plus the subject, plus the verb with ING, plus the complement, and the question mark. This is the formula, right, for Present progressive. Right. Present progressive with WH questions. Right? Ah, que pasa? Yes. Very easy. Right? Ejemplo. Tell me one WH word, Domingo. Una WH word. Dígame. When, 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 okay, when, 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 when are? When are, okay, tell me a subject. For I, they. When are they? Tell me a verb with ing. Are you going? When are they going? Tell me a compliment. I going in the going to uh -huh. to uh, the city to the city very good and question mark look how beautiful perfecto esta razón esta, esta pregunta está perfecta thank you so much Domingo right we have there when are they going to the city each of these elements right they have a sentence here. Right? When are they going to the city? Si seguimos este ejemplo, si seguimos esta fórmula para crear nuestras preguntas, vamos a crear bien. Okay? Please 
copy the example. How can you write another one, Marlon? But not with when. Tell me another, another question. Marlon Alberto Cardona. Tell me an example. Siguiendo esa misma forma. Yo creo que Marlon no me oye. Una pregunta, Tichi. Yes, Matías. Todas las W question se pueden utilizar para eh, progresivo. Yes, sir. Yes. In this case, the only one that we might not use so often is push. La que tal vez no usamos tan a menudo es push. Right? De ahí las demás las podemos utilizar. Ya les voy a mostrar otros ejemplos. Okay. A ver, creemos un ejemplo rapidito, tenemos tiempo. Escojan una, una, hagan lo mismo que hizo Domingo. Sigan el orden de la pregunta. Escojamos un ejemplo. Right now? What are you eating right now? Beautiful. Thank I you so much. I am eating palomitas. I am eating, <laughs> I am eating popcorn. <laughs> okay. I am eating popcorn right now. Very good. Okay, let's see. No sé qué. Okay. What's, an, what's another example? Vean su ejemplo. Mhm. Carla. Matías, Walter, Alba, with your example. Hay que ahorrar. Hay que ahorrar. Why is teachers. she running at night? Why is she running at night? Okay. Why is she running at night? Okay. Because she is running at night because she forgot to buy the cardboard. The homework. <laughs> what are they doing now in the garage? Ah, what are they doing now in the garage? Excellent. Very good. That's a great question. What are they doing now in the garage? Matias? Who is he studying on weekend? Who is he? Studying. Es to, es, es studying. ¿A quién, es estás, ¿A quién está estudiando los fines de semana? Who is he studying on weekends? Puede ser, los investigadores estudian a personas. Okay. Mm. Sí. Los académicos mm. investigan personas. Who is he studying on weekends? Está bien. Mm -hmm. Aunque podría ser mejor. What is he studying on weekends? What? Oh. He is studying history. He is studying biology. Okay. Sí, sí. Walter? What are you doing in this moment? What are you doing? Oh, I am teaching English in this moment. <laughs> okay. Very good, Walter. Carlos, Marilyn, Maidali, Alba, Marlo. Luis Enrique, William, Karina, Nancy. Where are you going in car? Where are you going in the car? Okay. Where are you going in the car? Where are you going to? El verbo go lo vamos, lo vamos a acompañar siempre de to. Así como listen. ¿Se recuerdan listen? Listen to. Go sería yes. go to. Where Thank are you, you going to in the car? Oh. I'm going to the supermarket. I am going to the supermarket. Where is she? How is 
the one that is screaming. Okay. What? It repeats. Who what is the one that is screaming? Or Who? screaming, no sé cómo se dice. Okay. Who is? Uh -huh. Who is screaming? Who is the one that is screaming? Very good. Very good. Eso es una receta. Un poquito más avanzada con la gramática, muy bien. Voy a hacerlo más simple. Who is screaming? Who is screaming también. Dos opciones muy válidas. Las dos están bien. Muchos thank you. Permíteme, Matías, un momento. Vamos a leer los ejemplos acá. Dice, what are you doing in this moment? Walter says. What are you? What are you doing in this moment? Eh, Karina, no veo el present progressive en esa oración. Tiene que tener present progressive. Tiene que tenerlo. Si no, no estamos trabajando con, eh, con la parte gramatical. ¿Cuál era su ejemplo, eh, Matías? Eh, una consulta más que todo. Sí, ejemplo, pero... Eh, eh, why are you sleeping at night? Because... According to society, it's the time that we should sleep. <laughs> sí, está bien escrita su, su pregunta. Why are you sleeping at night? Pero entonces le van a decir porque sí, es hora de dormir. What is she speaking about? What is she speaking about, Nancy? What is she speaking about at work? Who are you dating at night? At night, Maybelline. Recuerdense que at night siempre va a ir así. At night. No vamos a decir in the night. At night. Muy bien. Okay, pero, pero cuando Permita, yo les... Matías, voy a, leer, voy a leer los ejemplos y luego vamos con ustedes de nuevo, ¿ok? Give me a moment. Where are you having dinner on Friday? Very good, Maybelline. Where are you going to run? Very good, Alba. No se le olvide el signo de interrogación. Where is the movie presenting tonight? Very good. Excellent. Ahora, de nuevo, Matías, ¿cuál es su pregunta acerca de su pregunta? ¿Qué fue lo que pregunté, Tich? Pregunté que por qué se está durmiendo en la noche, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué está durmiendo en la noche, productor? Ajá, pero yo quería preguntar por qué se está durmiendo muy noche. ¿Cómo lo puedo poner? Ah, why are you sleeping? Late at night. Late okay. at night. Late. Late. Late at night. Ah, okay. Late at night. Es el... Y vamos acá con Where are he? Okay, si pone to your house, Domingo ya me está dando la respuesta. Where are you going to your house? Ya me está diciendo para mi casa. Right. Where are you going? Pero utilice otro verbo, no solo vos. Utilice otro. Usted puede utilizar otro. Okay. Ahora, copiaron el ejemplo de la fórmula. Yes. Yes. Vámonos entonces para otro ejemplo. Okay. Right. We have here right more examples. Right. In this case, right, we can see the WH words. Miran los ejemplos. Yes. ¿Sí? Oh, no. Okay. No. Yes. Permítanme, permítanme que aquí se trabó este pinche. Vamos. Ok. Vamos a ver. When is your next meeting? No es present progressive. Ese. Karina, por favor, siga la fórmula que estamos dando. No está poniendo un verbo con ING. Tiene que utilizar, vamos a utilizar which en el simple progressive. Uh, for example, we can say, ah, which car are you driving today, Silvia? Perdone, que esta cosa se me cortó, no la escuché. Which car are you driving today? Ah, ok. Gracias. Which okay. Which car are you driving today? Or we can say, oh, which TV program are you watching tonight after the class? Oh, I am watching 
Thanks, Bob. I am watching anything, right? Cualquier cosa. Next Así lo vamos a utilizar. Ok, very good. Now, we have the examples. Miren los ejemplos ahí, ¿sí? Yes. Sí. Okay. We have these examples, right? With this example here, we can see question word, auxiliary verb, subject verb, and complement. So they say others as complements, right? Now, esto es otra vez repitiendo la misma fórmula. No tiene nada de nuevo, okay? No tiene nada de nuevo. So, son ejemplos. Ya hicimos el ejemplo que nos dijo eh, Domingo. Ya hicieron ustedes los ejemplos. Estos son más ejemplos. ¿Ok? Number one. Where are you going to? Oh, I'm going to the supermarket. Right? Now, let's read the next example. Alba, veamos el siguiente ejemplo. What is she watching on TV? On TV, okay. Very good. Uh, Marilyn, read the third one. When? When is Mike leaving school? Very good. Let's continue there, Nancy. Who? Nancy. Hello, teacher. Lo siento. ¿Qué pasó, teacher? Por favor, lee el ejemplo. Who? Eh, el número cuatro. Yes, please. How are you taking to? Very good. Thank you. Let's read the last one, the next one. Eh, Alberto, why? Why is the teacher saying that? Why is the teacher saying that? And the last one, eh, Maritza, how? How are they coming here? How are they coming here? Very good. So these are examples. And it says here that these WH questions right, are at the beginning of the sentence. After then, we use auxiliary verb B and the subject. We don't use yes or no in the answer. Para las respuestas nunca vamos a utilizar yes or no porque son information questions, right? We want information, queremos más información. Si no quisiéramos más información, utilizamos yes no questions, right? Pero acá nosotros queremos más información, right? Do you like English? Are you taking English classes? Yes. Why are you taking English classes? Where are you taking English classes? Right. But how are you taking your English class? Ah, I'm taking my English classes virtually, right? In my house, in the comfort of my house, right? Now, ¿entendemos estos ejemplos? Y si las respuestas van a ser siempre, siempre present. Present progressive. Las respuestas. If I ask you, Matias, for example. For example. Um, let me ask uh, you first. Le voy a preguntar primero. Okay. 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 Are you taking English classes right now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Esa es la respuesta correcta. Yes. Oh, yes, I am. Very good. Luego yo le voy a preguntar. Why are you taking English classes? Mm -hmm. Eh, eh, sería I am, I am taking English classes. I am taking English classes because. From, no se puede decir from a from from. No, porque no le estoy pidiendo el horario. No le estoy diciendo when. Le pregunté why. Why ah uh, why. Y yo le pregunto when or what time. Sí. Right? Pero yo le pregunté, mm -hmm. why? Why are you taking English classes? Y de acuerdo a lo At que night. ustedes me dijeron, no. 
De acuerdo a lo que ustedes me dijeron, ustedes me van a dar una razón, una explicación por qué están tomando English classes. Right? No me va a decir el horario. Uh -huh. right? so you say, oh, I am taking English classes because I like it. Because I want another job. Because I want more money. Right? Por porque, yes. oh, because I want more knowledge. Right? Depende. ¿Ya copiaron estos ejemplos? ¿Tomaron captura de estos ejemplos? Sí. Sí, yes. yo, yo no lo tenía yes. una consulta. Uh -huh. Tiene 30 yes. segundos para su consulta. Uh -huh. este, oh, yeah. Solo vamos a decir yes, como por ejemplo, yes, I don't. I don't. I don't. Sí, yes, me, bueno. Pero yes, I don't, no. No, I don't. Yes, yes I, 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 I am. Yes, solo I así. am. Sí, Solo cuando es una respuesta afirmativa que está dirigida, que es una pregunta que está dirigida a usted y su respuesta es afirmativa, sí va a utilizar yes I am. Mm -hmm. Are you are you taking English at night? Yes I am. Are you a student? Yes I am. Right. Si es afirmativa mm -hmm. su respuesta. No, no, no le podemos poner como el complemento, una oración no corta, sino que un poco más largo. No es necesario. Mm -hmm. No es necesario. Okay. Para eso tenemos la WH questions. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now, vamos entonces, chicos. Vamos a, a parar acá con la práctica. Vamos a seguir mañana. Ahí right. Ahorita, por eso me queda un minuto. Alba Dinora. Presa. Alfredo Alexander. Presa. Cara Maritza. Carlos Valberto. Cristina. Domingo. Presa. Uh, José Matías. Yes. Karina. Present, yes. Teacher, present. Present. Okay. Ken Elizabeth. Apague su micrófono, por favor. Thank you. Luis Enrique Bonilla. Marilyn Elizabeth. Present. Marlon Alberto. Naidele Judith. Present. Nancy Lisette. Present. Sandra Yamilet. Santos Rigoberto, Silvia del Carmen, Víctor, Víctor David, Walter Daniel y William Eduardo Pérez. Thank you so much. Excellent. So, we're going to finish here, guys. Vamos a terminar acá. Este día nos quedamos con William Eduardo Pérez García y los demás. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Good night, people. Good night. Bye bye. Uh, good night.